Hi Erin, it is Wednesday, November 23rd, and I am in Pittsburgh to spend Thanksgiving with my family. I am currently at my sister's house to spend the night because it's closer to the airport than my parents' house is. In response to your video for Monday, I present to you 10 things I'm thankful for of varying degrees of curiosity. 1. Family. I'm pretty close to my family, and I always will hang out with my immediate family, as well as my cousins and my aunts and uncles on both sides, all of whom are delightful and hilarious and brilliant fun. And also, my favorite members of my family are my sister and my niece and nephew, which should come as a surprise to no one. 2. Friends. If anyone's not thankful for her friends, she should probably reevaluate her friend selection criteria. I have some pretty awesome fantastic friends, both the kind that I've known since I was a tiny, tiny person, and so now that we don't talk very often, we're still friends, and the kind that were typically found later in life that I talk to a lot, or a lot, for me. 2A. Birthday twins. Birthday twins are a special subset of friends. I've always loved, loved, loved my birthday, and getting to share it with other people is definitely cause for jubilation. I love my birthday twin friends, and I also love collecting a list of birthday twins who are not, or not yet, my friends. Like, you know, demigods and K-pop idols. 3. Music slash dance. Music is one of the best things ever to exist. Also dancing. Singing and dancing are two of my favorite activities, also listening to music, and someday I hope to maybe actually be able to play my accordion instead of just letting it sit under my bed and exist. 4. K-pop. I already said music and dance, and obviously this fits both of those, but K-pop gets its own place on the list because, well, because my love for K-pop is fairly intense and encompasses not just the actual music and dancing, but also the people performing. Um, Sometimes my affection for the people in a group is greater than my affection for the group's music. Maybe more than sometimes. Five, Korean variety shows. So where do I see all those K-pop idols and Korean comedians and actors being adorable and goofy and wonderful? Korean variety shows. Definitely one of my favorite things. I'm sure the number of hours I spend watching Korean variety shows is obsessive, if not unhealthy. But to be fair, I have had way too much free time to fill low these many months, so I'm sure the amount of time I devote to these shows will decrease soon. The amount of love I have for them, however, will only grow. Or remain constant, or something. 6. Books. I really like books. I like words, and I like stories, and I love falling in love with characters, and generally books are amazing things. 7. Library school. Library school introduced me to more books, and what being a librarian and a school librarian is like, all fantastic. But more importantly, library school introduced me to some amazing people, most of whom I don't really keep in touch with except on Facebook, but I miss a lot, and one of whom is you. And you then introduced me to my other birthday twins, and anime, and to Pisa Khan, which in turn introduced me to K-pop, and yeah, I think my life would be really different right now if I hadn't gone to library school. Eight, stuffed animals! I really like stuffed animals because they're super cute, and Headley, this is Finn. He has a suitcase that he can travel in, but I usually don't take it when I travel because it takes up more room in my suitcase. 9. Science fiction and fantasy. I'm just glad that apparently other people live in their heads a lot too, and I'm really grateful that so many people are able to bring the world in their heads out on paper or film to share with the rest of us so we can all enjoy them. 10. Clothes. Clothes are fun. When I was little, I always wanted to dress like Claudia from Babysitter's Club because she was obviously the coolest and she had a funky, unique style. I was way too nervous to leave the house and the outfits I'd put together in my room, so I mostly just like everyone else. Now, I'm much more likely to wear clothes I like the way I like out in public, and it is immense fun, and I highly recommend it. Erin, happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you on Monday.